subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. Hurricane Ida is crossing western Cuba tonight. It's actually about to come off western Cuba as I'm recording this, and is expected to rapidly intensify into a major hurricane tomorrow, and could make landfalls a category 4 hurricane in Louisiana late this weekend. Right now though, we have it with winds of 80 miles per hour, or 130 kilometers per hour, with a minimum central pressure of 985 millibars, it's moving northwest at about 15 miles per hour or 24 kilometers per hour. That CDPS 7 is for Louisiana. The breakdown here is for the stage 5 over western Cuba. As you can see, very significant. Uh, we're talking significant to major uh, for the overall threat here. Devastating impacts are uh, unfortunately likely ongoing as Ida makes its way across western Cuba. The current wind fields, it is uh, small sized right now. This is expected to get a bit larger before it makes landfall in Louisiana, which will increase surge totals. In the current distances, it is 15 miles from, uh, or 24 kilometers from Manuta in uh, Cuba, 631 miles or 1016 kilometers from New Orleans, 660 or 1063 kilometers uh, from Morgan City uh, in Louisiana, 680 miles or 1094 kilometers from Marsh Island, and 697 miles or 1122 kilometers from Baton Rouge. And we have hurricane warnings, storm surge warnings, hurricane watches, storm surge watches, tropical storm warnings, and tropical storm watches all in place. I showed uh, the most important ones, those being storm surge and hurricane watches and warnings. The current intensity estimates, the satellite estimates are a bit out of date. They're still saying tropical storm. Other than that, all other estimates, 80 miles per hour, we really have no reason to go down from that. The current forecast cone you can see there becoming a major hurricane tomorrow and coming into Louisiana. Hurricane warnings are in place for this and mandatory evacuations have been issued for some parishes. If you're under mandatory evacuation, I recommend heeding those evacuation orders. If you're preparing for this storm, Please make sure your preparations are done before tomorrow night uh, ends. As storm surge, we could be seeing some areas get 10 to 15 feet of storm surge, and that's very significant and life-threatening. The of the temperatures ahead of Ida are very warm. They only get warmer all the way up to landfall, and this is the oceanic heat content basically showing how deep does that water go. You can see it is going to track into the deepest part of the loop current, which I believe is the deepest oceanic heat content that we have in the entire Atlantic Basin right now. The 12Z H Wharf Windswath takes this in as a Category 4 hurricane into Louisiana. Significant rainfall for not only coastal areas but far inland, even into places of Tennessee and Kentucky. And multi-model diagnostic comparison, all models generally saying intensification from here on out till landfall. Wind shear is actually going to potentially drop below 10 knots before it makes landfall in Louisiana. Sea surface temperatures are on a trend upwards and the mid-level relative humidity is staying uh, around in between 80, uh, 60 and 80 percent. So all conditions right here are looking very favorable for intensification for Ida. That's why we expect such rapid intensification. The National Hurricane Center are forecasting a peak of 140 miles per hour. So again, to restate CDPS, stage 5 for Western Cuba, stage 7 for uh, Louisiana. That stage 7 will be broken down in a video update tomorrow, and we'll be live tomorrow covering all of Hurricane Ida all the way up to landfall. Uh, so stay tuned and stay safe if you're in the path.